Little Feathers, they called him. Even the other down and outs laugh at his tattered clothes and few poor belongings. He knows what it is to be penniless and hungry. But it isn't hunger of the body that makes his tired feet turn from unfriendly pavements and make their way haltingly to church. The sound of young voices has stirred some half-forgotten memory in his brain. The memory of far-off happy days when he too was a boy singing in the choir on Sundays, watched by the loving eyes of his mother. She had such faith in him and such proud hopes for his future. The boys of St Mary of the Angels Song School, intent on their singing, don't notice the outcast coming slowly down the aisle. He makes no sound in case the spell should be broken. Here at least he has sanctuary from the all too familiar command to move on. The music draws him forward and yet at the same time backward to the world of yesterday before he knew what it was to be alone and friendless. How can these boys know what their singing means to a tramp? They still have youth and eagerness in their faces. He has known the depths of bitterness and despair. But all that's forgotten now, the uplifted voices have brought the sound of eternity into his broken spirit. The hard world is shut away. Here is one place where there are no distinctions between rich and poor, old and young. Forgotten are the few poor buttons pinned to his coat, the feathers in his hat of which he was so proud. There is no place for pride here, even in small things. Most of these boys have been brought from poor homes, many from the slums. But St Mary of the Angels School has brought happiness and purpose into their lives just as their singing has brought purpose into the life of one of society's misfits. As the music of the choir drifts out into the streets, the world hurries by, busy seeking fame and fortune. But Old Feathers has found riches of another kind. 